all right hello hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the knit state of mind podcast i didn't check what episode we're on maybe 32 but it will obviously be in the title of this episode so i'm wanda i'm heather and you can find our socials online Um, and down below in the description box we'll keep everything but pretty much if you look for knit state of mind you can find us it's sunday um the 27th of march and we're coming here from unceded huchen ohlone lands east bay area and we have a few things to share um i think heather has some finished objects Mm -hmm. And I have a whip yeah. or two. <laughs> and then we have um, some things that we're ripping out. Um, yeah, so we'll talk more about that later. <laughs> you see my face? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, about that. All right, so All right. do you want to share with us your cardigan? Sure. Sorry, I just kicked over something that was under the bench. Um, so this is my April. You can see, well, you guys probably can't see, but Wanda can see the fluff for my <laughs> cardigan floating around. Um, this is the April cardigan um, by Petite Knit um, that I knit out of Biche Bouche Le Petit Lamb's Wool and Biche Bouche Le Petit Silk Mohair in a, some, whatever their gold color is. It'll be down below. Um, so I'm not sure I can... I'm standing too close, but you can kind of see it has a really interesting shoulder. I think maybe that's like a contiguous. I'm not really sure. Um, But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Not 100% happy. Um, So what I like about it is it's definitely like cozy, comfy. I think, like I said, I like the shoulder. Um, I think the shoulder fits well. Um, And just in general, the pattern, I mean... There's, I guess, a reason Petit Knit is so popular. The pattern was really easy to follow and easy to knit, so I really enjoyed knitting it. Um, I did it completely to pattern to the size that I think is supposed to give you 46-inch circumference and on gauge and everything, except that um, for the button band, she says to pick up... um, There's a plane flying overhead. That's okay. Um, For the button band, she says to pick up one stitch per row but my row gauge is pretty tight so I knew that would make the button band wobble too much so Mm -hmm. I picked up three for every four and I think it Mm -hmm. after blocking it came out okay um couple changes that I would make um the first is she says to put four buttons but I think I would put five because there's just like a little bit of gaping um so if I think I am going to make this again which I'll talk about in a minute but I would put five buttons instead of four um and then i also think the shoulder is slightly too big so i actually think i would knit the one size down Mm -hmm. um and then maybe just do a few extra increases for the v-neck to make the front a little bit bigger Mm -hmm. but i think the um Uh we have all kinds of work happening i think the shoulder would fit it's it fits okay anyways but i think it would fit perfect if i knit the one size down Okay. So as soon as I finished it, um, I just happened to be watching. So I had not watched any podcasts really, like since the Olympics. I started watching the Olympics and then mm-hmm. I just sort of got off podcasts and I hadn't watched any for a long time. And I just got back into it and through the YouTube algorithm <laughs> found a variety of podcasts of um, people who knit a lot of DK and worsted weight sweaters, mm-hmm. which I typically have not done in the past, but I'm going to be able to now because I moved to a colder climate. Oh, yes. So yes. anyways, one of the people I started watching is um, the podcast is called Crea Bea, and she mm-hmm. was talking about how she knits sweaters more the same pattern more than once because in sewing, a lot of times you'll make like a... Um, a practice, I don't forget what it's called, there's a term for it, but you make like a practice one with different mm-hmm. fabric before you make the actual garment. And so it seems like in knitting, the same should be true, right? If you're trying to perfect the fit, why wouldn't you make the same yeah. pattern twice? So I happened to be watching that as I was binding this off and realizing it was a tiny bit too big. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this again yeah. because I'll wear this one. Yep. Um, so I have some yarn from um, Biche Bouche in a like reddish color. Mm-hmm. Um, and so maybe not right away, but for next winter, I'm going to make the same exact pattern again, but one size smaller yeah. and see, compare yeah. the fit, right? Maybe yeah. I'll turn out to like this one better. Maybe yeah. that'll be better. But 
then I'll know. But I really, I don't know, for some reason that just like freed me. I was like, oh, there you go. If it doesn't fit right, just make another make one. Make another one. And yeah. see if you can get it to fit better. So yeah. anyway. And I think this is something that can be a staple. So having mm -hmm. it in multiple colors totally works. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's like a really nice length. It just fits like right at the top of your pants. I mean, you can obviously, it's top down, so you can change the length however yep, you want yep, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I yeah. like it a lot. Yeah. So I am nice kind of hot, so I think I'm going to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where it's an in between yeah. weather day today. Oh, goodbye to the beautiful goodbye. golden mustard. Oh, one other oh. thing. So last time I was like throwing all kinds of shade at the tubular cast off. Oh, so you were. <laughs> you can imagine what happened. <laughs> this pattern calls for tubular cast off, and I did it. You did it. I did it for all of it for the this oh, you gotta um, check it out and i think it came out pretty good for the um what's this called the ribbing at the bottom the sleeves and the whole neck <laughs> oh, damn. Cast off, which i was like am i really gonna do that and then i was like you know what just do it yeah and i'm gonna stop hating on tubular bind off because it does look <laughs> really good yeah and i think i learned how to do it because i had to do it so much like this sleeve, I think is the best of all. Of Did them. you do it the way that's kind of like Kitchener, or because there's more than one mm -hmm. way, right? Um, yeah. I did not put them on two needles like Kitchener, but it is. I forget. I'll link. Try to link below the website it's like that weaving. had. Yeah. So I did like the weave in and out, whatever. However yeah. you do it, I'll link the below the website. Yeah, that'd I be used. good. Um, I found a written tutorial, which for me was easier than watching hmm. a video, because I could like read step by step and put it on my phone and just keep going back to it yep but, yep cool yeah so nice all right that's a staple it's a good one what are you wearing so you all have seen this so i'm not going to talk about it but i don't know if i've worn it on the podcast or not but this is a hello from my colors crop top by jesse made design um and it's using nitpicks palette in a bunch of different colors so Stand up really quickly. So cute. I love the top you have under it too. Yeah, it actually perfect. kind of works. Yeah. So. <laughs> I probably could have gotten away with not doing an undershirt today, but yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's really weird weather today. It's like hot and then it's cold and then it's hot and then it's cold yeah. and then it's muggy because it's supposed to rain later. Yep, yep. Yeah. That's Bay Area for you. Mm -hmm. What else do you have for us? Uh, so I just have some socks that are some FOs. Um, so these I think I was working on last time. Um, and I finished them. This was with twill and print, I want to say, is the yarn. Um, so I finished these. There's two of them. Nice. Um, All the just, colors are coordinating so far. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Your cardigan and <laughs> socks and this. Um, so vanilla socks with an afterthought heel. So I did those. And then I had, with the leftover of that yarn, I did um, just a three by one rib with some, this is Madeline Tosh Twist Light in the color Antler. And then I used the variegated for yeah, the heels and toes. I like that. Heels and toes. Cool. I thought that was kind of fun. Yep. I do really, I've been enjoying knitting three by one. Well, it's one by one twisted rib for the cuff. And then three by one, I find that this fits really well. Mm hmm. Um, then I finished these, which are loosely based on the Summer Shorties oh, yeah. pattern by Summer Lee Knits. So one, two. Yep. Um, and finally, I, um, so I've been going through, and I'll talk more about this later, but I've been going through my stash and all my projects because I'm getting ready to move. Mm -hmm. And I found that I had, uh, when I made my MA sweater, which is oh, my color right. block sweater, I had set aside the leftover oh, yarn to make socks with. Perfect. So I made color block socks that match my MA cardigan. I love it. Um, the, this color I didn't have mm. enough of to do a full stripe, so I just used it for the heel. So it looks a little weird on the bottom of the foot. No, I like it. But if you look at it from when I'm wearing it, you can yeah, just see Yeah, I the, like it. Yeah. I like it. Yep. So these are three by one rib all the way down. Actually, I just started the cuff with three by one. It looks a little messy when it's not on, but it's, it when it's on fine. my leg, it looks nice and neat at the top. So nice. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Just lots of socks. Working away at your socks. Uh, and I actually have several Some whips, whips too, but let's see your whip first. Cool. Okay. So I have one whip. Um, I actually should have prepared this, but I've been working on the Letho by Natasha Hornby. And so it's knit in pieces. So you start with the sleeves 
and then you do a provisional cast on um, and then you knit in both directions. And so I'm on the back neck shaping now on this side. I don't know. So sleeve, back neck shaping. Oh, and then you go the other way. And this is the Got front. It, okay. So that's one piece. Um, and then I'll show you all where I am with the other piece. Oh, do you graft it together at the end? Yeah, you do. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, I think it's a, I, I don't remember, but it oh, might be a, binder, I think yeah. it's a, a three needle bind off. So this side, oh, I should, I should have taken this a loose. You can't see, I have these cords in here, but here's the front and the back is up to the point where it needs to be where I graft it. So you have, um, you can't see it well because mm -hmm. I can't stretch it, but it has mosaic color mm -hmm. work. So this is the left side. The front and back are ready and waiting for me to finish the right side so I can wrap those two together. And I'm trying to remember the yarn I'm using. It's a combo of things, but the main yarn is um, the fiber company. I think it's Cumbria fingering. Um, and I love the color alone. So I'm like crossing my fingers and hoping that I end up having some of this mm -hmm. left left over. Um, and that yarn has else. mohair just in this yarn too. Yeah, Plus this you're yarn. Holding it with mohair, yeah, right? and I'm yeah. holding it it's with very fuzzy. I'm holding it with some aloft. So, yeah. so if I hold it up, you can kind of see mm -hmm. the color there, maybe. So yeah, I should have taken these a loose so you can yeah. see. Yeah, are those thinking. those knitting barber cords that everyone's yeah, talking they about? Are. I was just wishing I had some of those for a shawl project. They are show later. quite convenient. <laughs> yeah. Um, a saving grace, really, because they're super easy to slide your your project on and off. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what I've been working on. Um, I have a, we were talking about this. I have a lot of whips, and I don't know. Uh, <laughs> trying to focus my attention now, so I've been focusing on the left though because that's the item I'm feeling like I want the most at mm -hmm. this point in time. Um, Especially as it's starting to warm up, I think a cardigan is going to be the most flexible mm -hmm. of the long sleeve items, of yeah. the long sleeve garments that I have. So yeah, yeah, I'm giving this a loose. Uh, well, while you untie that, why don't I... Oh, you, you have it, never mind. So you can kind of see it hanging. So the color work, that goes down the back, right? Yeah, There's that's like the a back. band of color work. Okay, I didn't realize it's, when I've seen the finished item before, I didn't realize that, so you're grafting it basically in the color work. Yeah, you graft oh, it right down the center of the color work. That's cool. Um, and then you pick up for the bottom and you do the ribbing on the bottom and then you do the shawl, mm -hmm. the collar going all the way around and you're returning to this brioche for the whole, for the collar. Okay. That's nice. it. Very good. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. 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 And I think you will be able to wear that. I mean, that's like a three season sweater around here. I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. It has that versatility. Yeah. All right. Um, what you got? All right. Well, so first I'll just show some whips. So uh, I have, as I said before, I have a whip segment and a rip segment. I'm... These were almost in the rip segment, but I decided to oh. to motor on. So these are my wee mittens. Yes, yes. Um, by Einar Burke and by Ava. And this one I think was already done last time I showed them. So I was looking at it and I was like, I don't know, do I want to finish these? Or I just want to get rid of it and get rid of the yarn. And I was like, no, I was so close to being done. Mm -hmm. So I was probably like down here when, and I picked them up a few days ago. And so, um, yeah, so I just have like 20 more rows to do. And then I have the thumbs. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? And these well. will go nicely with my raincoat. Uh, and it'll so be perfect for Portland. Yeah, in the winter. I mean, not now. Not, not now, winter, but, but yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm going to finish them, and then if I don't end up using them, I'll give them away, right? It's, there you go. Um, and the yarn for this is Twirl Ditto. Twirl Ditto, which I think is... I just saw this recently. It said Fiber Shed. I don't know if that's the name of the company or what, but that's mm. the... It's like a wooly wool yarn. Um, so that's that one. I did a little bit more work on my daily socks, which is also patterned by Summerlee. Actually, I finished the first one, so this was a work in progress last time. Oh yeah, I like that pattern. Um, yeah. Finished this, it fits really well. Um, this is the non-superwash sock yarn. 
um, mm -hmm. from Small Bird Workshop, mm -hmm. and then I started the second one. So, nice. My goal, all of these whips, my goal is to finish them before I move. I don't want to take any of this stuff. It needs to be done. The ones you're showing the, now. The ones I'm showing now. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, I did do a little bit of work on my Morgan card again, but it doesn't really look that different. I just did some more of the sleeve. I'm really trying to get that one done before I move to because it's big. Got it. Um. So then, um. I had a little bit of yarn left over from the cardigan, so I started making a headband. Aww. It's one of those that's going to be like, you know, yep. twisted. Yeah. So that's nothing really to look at, but that's, awesome. a, that's happening. <laughs> um, and I just, I am really enjoying knitting with this like woolen mohair on these like, for me, it's like size three or four needles. Mm -hmm. I just tactile. I'm just enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. And these are the um, carbons, which are my favorite Ooh, needles for cool. sweater knitting. Yeah. Um. Okay. So then we get to. I was. I've been going through my stash. I've been going through every, my whole apartment, right, and just deciding like what's moving with me, what's mm -hmm. not. And I went through my stash and I actually got rid of some yarn that I just have you know. always had problems. I've never been able to figure out what to make with it. Usually it tends to always be stuff that I bought on sale with no plan. <laughs> so note to self, yep. stop doing yep. that because it just ends up, you end up getting rid of it. But I had two yarns that are kind of like problem yarns, but I wasn't ready to give up on them. So I was like, if I can think of something to make with this, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. So um, one of them was this um, Rowan four ply soft, and I made the shift cowl or shifty cowl. Oh, the sh yeah, the I, shift cowl, right? Yeah, with this color and some other colors for contrast. That's right. Yeah, um, but I had a lot of it left, and it, it's a it's a super wash wool, so I thought this would be good for a baby sweater. Yeah, I mean, maybe you have to be kind of like hip and cool to dress your baby in that color, but I'm like. I think it's a wonderful color. I think color. it's a good color, right? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> um, so I started the, oh, I don't know, is it the Friday top or the Sunday? It's some day of the week That's top so by Petite Knit. Um, so this is the one year size. Um, the neck seems, it's very stretchy, but it seems really small to me. But I'm hoping after blocking it will... Um, and if it seems too small still, I think what I'll do is just steak it and cut a little hole there and put a button. Cause Got I'm just it. worried. I know it will fit over the baby's head, yeah. but does the baby really want is something right comfy? Yeah. yeah. But anyway, I really like how I was right. This yarn looks good in the stitch pattern, which is like it's... a, um, broken rib. Got it. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. I like those colors together. Yeah. So I'm happy that I saved that yarn. Yeah. And I'm making you worked it out. With it. Yeah. Um, and I, I really love this stitch pattern. I've actually favorited recently a few other um, adult tops that have this broken mm -hmm. rib pattern because I think it's really a nice texture. I'm liking that too. Yeah. Um, and then my final whip was another, um, like not a problem yarn, but it was just like leftover from a sweater I had made. I had like four balls of this um, Backyard Fiber Works Mm, yarn left after I had finished a sweater and it, it wasn't what material is that? Yeah, it's superwash merino. Oh, it looks a little fluffy. Yeah, no, it's superwash merino. Um, so yeah, I didn't really know what to do with it. And then I was like, well, maybe I can make a shawl with four balls of that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, cause I didn't think it would be quite enough to make a sweater for my size. So I started the dotted rays uh, shawl by Stephen West, which is a nice pattern because you, start here mm -hmm. and then it's kind of hard to see because the needles I have it on are kind of small but basically you're in increasing to make the space between the dots get increasingly wider on every mm -hmm. um, row and there's some short rows and stuff but you can basically do it it sounds I think if I understand the pattern correctly, you can kind of leave off after any of these dots. So I can just keep working oh, on it until, until I use up the yarn perfect. basically. Yeah. Um, so it's been really fun. It's just basically garter stitch. And then every now and then you do some yarn overs. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how well that's showing up. Yeah, there you can see the holes. Yeah. Yep. You can see it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm very happy it's with nice that color. And yeah. I love this color. Exactly. Yeah, so beautiful. I think it'll be a really nice. Oh yeah. Scarf. Actually it wouldn't look nice with this. There you go. <laughs> done and done. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's my whips.
and something else that I did a lot of work on that I'm going to rip out. That you're going to rip out? Okay. But do you want to share what you're ripping out And then first? is the plan to finish all of these before the move or? Yes. So I'm going to, I, and I definitely think I can. I'm moving in about like three and a half weeks. So I'm, I, I'm hoping to finish all of this and the Morgan sweater. Yeah. The Morgan sweater really only just needs this much of a sleeve. So okay. it's only going to take me a day or two. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Um, and I would like to, because I want to be able to pack and I have a plan, um, for what I'm going to take with me. Okay. Um, I'll talk about that later. Like but, the other whips or yarn. Okay. We'll yeah. Talk what about yarn I'm going to talk. Okay. About. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I have a whip that I'm just putting on the record on the podcast, <laughs> but I'm going to rip it out. So I don't, this is kind of pointless, but I wanted to put it on the record. I wanted Heather to know for the record as well <laughs> that I did. I've been hearing about this mystery. That I whip. did start this. <laughs> Don't look yet. Don't look until okay. I hold it up to the camera. <laughs> and I should have so prepped curious. this. I'm not looking. I'm, not looking. <laughs> I'm being silly. <laughs> Okay, it's like still attached to yarn. <laughs> so this has been, this is a tough decision for me to make to rip it out. But I was like, if I'm not loving how it's looking, and I think we texted mm. about this. It's like, if I'm not loving how it's looking, it's it's going to be work, right? Mm -hmm. It's labor. So rip it out, let it sit. I have some other ideas potentially for it. Um, I'm just giving you all the build up. <laughs> Okay, I can see the yarn, but I don't still have, have not okay. looked. <laughs> so I randomly itself. had the idea one day <laughs> to. I was like, "Oh, that'd be kind of cool." Oh, I think I've knit this pattern before. Um, you, do you think you've knit this pattern before? Have you really not figured out what? Oh this is? no, I didn't. Okay, I thought it was something totally different. Now, now that you say that, I know what it is. Um, I'm trying to figure yeah. out the best way to hold this up. But I thought it was something different. But yes, oh my gosh. Oh, I think it goes this way. So this has been so much fun. I'm not going to lie. It's so fun to knit, right? It's been so much fun. But what I decided is that I don't like how the colors are working mm -hmm. out. I randomly had the thought I, one day, I was like, oh, let me try this yarn with this. And I loved this first part. Mm -hmm. And then I just, I was mm -hmm. like, no. And I could play with it and and be more intentional, but I d I've decided I don't want to do this particular ball of color changing yarn. I actually have an olive green of this same Knit Picks palette, and I'm thinking I'm if I mm -hmm. do it again, I'm going to do the olive green as the main color, and then um, this color and the, the cream color I used in my, the lighter color that mm -hmm. I used in the mud cloth, yeah. the modern mud cloth, but it's so enjoyable. Mm -hmm. It was such, it was so hard for me to say, no, I'm just going to stop um, because I'm not liking the color combos. Did you say what pattern it is, by the way? Oh. It's, it's twigs. <laughs> it's, yes. Yeah, so but but like, the reason Heather, I couldn't tell. I was like, Heather, do you think? I agree you with you think? on ripping it out because I think I couldn't see the yeah. um, pattern of this part this very pattern, well at all. And yeah. I thought it was a cartography because Tin Can Knits has a uh, Got it. pattern that has a similar, this is similar. Yeah, you but I, can't, it's really hard to see, so can't, I agree. And, and yeah. Mark said the same thing. So you can't see it. And I honestly, I personally actually don't like those colors. And then I don't like what started. Mm -hmm. I just don't like what started happening. I love how it started, mm -hmm. um, but I don't like where it's going. So just when yeah. it, for the record, I was like, um, got to put it, got to yeah. reveal that I did. I yes. did finally start this thing. Um, but yeah, it's just a joy to knit though, isn't it? Oh my God. It's I was so, so surprised because yeah. I was like, I don't know mm -hmm. why I was hesitant before. It's like color work even and fingering on small needles it just it keeps mm -hmm. you engaged mm -hmm. on, like I can yeah. honestly say that yeah I don't know if it keeps me engaged enough to like cast on again right away <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but yeah well if you use that same color for the main color you could at least save the neckline because that is a tubular cast on which does yeah take time. and I thought about that because yeah. originally these aren't this isn't like I originally bought this yarn for the twigs mm -hmm. so I and and then I've been using a little here and there but I'll still mm -hmm. have enough 
but then I randomly had the idea to use this color mm -hmm. changing yarn that wasn't the original plan so I do also still have the contrasting yarn that I was going to use for this um so I could still do that but then I was kind of looking at them again and I do like the darker versions mm -hmm. um so we'll see what happens but you're right about I didn't think about that too really yeah. cast on and yeah. saving the the neck Although I do really like the directions. I've said this before, but I use the directions from the twigs pattern for mm -hmm. tubular cast on whenever I do a tubular cast on. Because mm. I think the directions in that pattern are really good. Yeah. 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 I mean I it was it was fine. I don't I don't remember what I did or, or anything at, or whatever, yeah. but <laughs> it happened. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well yay, I'm glad you I'm glad you dived into that then. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, okay, so, so my grips. Well, first of all, I when I was making this, I needed um, a size two needle for the butt band, and the size two needles were in my astragal, mm -hmm. um, which I had started knitting. I don't know, like a year or so ago, yeah. with some cotton yarn, mm -hmm. um, and then the gauge was like a little bit off, so I was having to add extra rows, and then the designer did an Instagram post about how you shouldn't knit it with cotton yarn, you should use like a wool yarn because of the way the, um, when you make one, the way the space fills in, when it blocks, and so I went and got, I had to get the needles out of it to use, to do the button band, and I knit, actually, if I actually knit a few more rows um, until I got to a, a, an easy place to take the needles out. And I was like, oh, maybe I'm going to keep going with this. So I finished the button band. I put the needles back in. I knit a little bit more. The other mm -hmm. mistake I made is that I, most people knit it inside out and they knit it because the, the right side is purl. Mm -hmm. But I had started for some reason purling and my knit and my purls are different tensions. So I was going to be stuck purling the whole rest of the sweater, which I don't mm -hmm. mind purling on like stockinette, but I don't, if I'm going to only do one or the other, I would rather knit. Yeah. Yeah. So I finally was like, okay, I just need to rip this out. I love the sweater and the pattern. So I put it right back in my queue and I'm going to knit it with some kind of other yarn. Got it. Um, but I already ripped that oh, out. Oh, you ripped it out gave already. the yarn away. Got it. Um, so then I, this was my cast on. So I cast on the Shake It Up shawl by Anna Johanna. And a long time ago on the podcast, I had shown I was going to make it with this like bright blue and red and orange yarn. Mm -hmm. But when I actually got the pattern, and so I had that in like a box of stuff I wanted to cast on when I, oh gosh, the yarn just got stuck in the zipper with this. When I actually, it's fine because I'm going to rip it out anyway, so who cares? Um, when I actually got it, looked at the pattern, I realized that one of the yarns needed to be in neutral. Um, mm. And so I scrapped that idea and I was like, oh, I'm going to do it with this, these other colors that I have. So I had these two sparkly yarns. I like those. Um, from Sweet Sparrow Knits and then this um, like plain one for the yeah. neutral. So yes, that's what I thought too. I thought, oh, these will go together great. It's yeah. going to be awesome. <laughs> but I'm really not happy with it. So I'll show you and show you why I'm tell you why I'm not happy with it. Um, so I got very far on it. Wow. Um, here's why I'm not happy with it, and I know I will not wear it, so I'm going to rip it out, because I really like the yarn. Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> I, I need to know why. <laughs> I need to know why. So, a couple reasons. The first is that the pattern is more of a fade, so the yarn colors that were used in the, the sample are, it's not, it doesn't look like stripes here like it does. Mm. It's more subtle, mm -hmm. right? And I just am not happy with the striping effect. So that's the mm. first reason that I don't like it. The second reason is that I think the tones of these are, is that warm and cool? Is that tones or hues or whatever? I don't know the color terms for it. I think that that two of these are cool tones and one of them is a warm tone and I can't get over that. I think it just doesn't, there's just something off about the colors and I don't like it. So that's really all there is to okay. it. Okay. But I almost was like, I'm probably like two thirds of the way done. So I was like, should I just finish it and then just like give it away as a gift? But I'm like, I don't know. I'm just, there's just something about the colors that I don't like them together. And I, and you like, I like the, the yarn, yarn individually. So I'm just going to rip it out 
and reskin It breaks you. my heart. I know. But I love the pattern, so I think I'm yeah. going to try and, and I'm gonna, I would have to buy yarn. Different I don't combo. Have, yeah, I don't have a yarn combo that I think would work well for it right yeah. now. Uh, it's, it was really fun. It's like a little brioche, a little yeah, some lace. lace. But yeah, I want it more subtle, so it's no more doubt. Faded. You know your preference. So that was my first. That was a, a start second, and fail. And okay, second fail. And this yes. is the second one you're you're ripping out. So here's the other two things I'm gonna rip. Here's the two things that did not make the cut. These are not moving with me, and I'm never gonna finish them. You're never gonna finish them. You say that with um, certainty. My pin tuck t shirt. Oh, wow. Which I'm very close to being done with. But the reason it's not done, <laughs> you like how I like lowered my voice and got all dramatic. <laughs> the reason it's not done is A, I don't, this is, it's 100% silk, and I actually don't really enjoy knitting with 100% silk. That's one thing I've learned. Yeah. The bottom is like rolling like crazy, and I'm not convinced mm, that will be fixed with fix. blocking. It, it was knit and from the bottom up. I should have knit a longer ribbing, and I didn't. Mm -hmm. And I just, because the, of the silk, the nature of the silk, it's just not that even. And I think even with blocking, I don't think no. it's going to even out that much because I made something else with this yarn before, and it was still kind of uneven like after that. blocking. So again, I really love this pattern. I think you, if you've been watching us for a while, you know, I talked at length about the way that the armholes are done is with short rows and it's really, I've never seen that before in a pattern and yeah. I love the pattern for that and I will definitely keep the pattern to go back to for that reason, it's a free pattern. Um, but I just, it, I realized I'm not gonna wear it. The, what I have to still do is picking up all these stitches and that's gonna take time to make it look nice and I just, yeah. I don't like it. And I, yeah. the yarn was a gift from a family member like more than 10 years ago. So I was really trying to use it, but I'm yeah. just like, I just, these are lessons in letting go. Yeah. I love it. So I that's it. getting ripped out. Um, hundred percent silk yarn coming soon to a thrift Stash. or consignment um. store near you. Um, and then finally, I can't go here all over me. Sorry. <laughs> that's no, so it's, from my sweater. <laughs> um, I decided. What else? Oh, I forgot about that, but I'm not surprised. I just decided I have to let you're just gonna. Go. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So this is official because we. It's I mean, official. we've done we've done ripping it's this official. out multiple times. I have ripped it out multiple times, but mm -hmm. I just decided. But see, I look at it and I'm like, oh, I just love these colors. But the problem is it doesn't fit. It sure, it, it straight it, up doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. fit. I messed up the tubular cast off, which is partly why I was so negative about tubular cast off. Yeah. I love this. The reason I've been having such a hard time with it is I love this color. Like, I just think this is that a is really beautiful. great color. However, I never have been like this yarn is a like a wool cotton kind of round yarn. Mm. I don't necessarily if you look at it up close, I don't necessarily think it is the best yarn for this pattern. And that's been part of the problem is the gauge I've been having a hard time with. Mm. And the yarn I was using for the contrast colors. Again, I liked it for the color, but for knitting with it, it wasn't my favorite either. Mm. And it just doesn't fit very well. It's, it's gonna block out. I haven't blocked it, but I know it's gonna be too big. Yeah. And so I'm just gonna let go. Lesson in letting yeah. go. I'm gonna keep this little ball for the color so that I can like carry it around with me to yarn stores. Oh, you won't like, reuse that? No, I'm not gonna reuse it. It's been ripped and reused so That's many times that true. I just don't know uh. what I'm gonna like it in. Uh, maybe I will, I don't know. We'll see when I rip it out if yeah. I think it's in good enough shape to use again. But I'm definitely going to keep this little ball that, oh, yeah. so that I can compare the color because it, the thing that was making me keep trying was the color. Got it. So instead I can just walk around with this. Yeah, figure, find it. Find a 100% wool yarn that's this that's color or color. some kind of other blend that's not this blend. Yeah. But I was just like, I, it's just making me sad. I just need to let it go. Aww. Clearing the way for <laughs> other things to, that bring you joy. Yep. All right, so the question is, which of these projects are you gonna rip out on camera right now? 
Oh, this one will be too hard because the two year old. But you want spine. Um, <laughs> I, I can start ripping the shawl out. Oh, I no, think, I can't because it's stuck. I in think the it's just ceremony. Yeah, it's just. A... <laughs> Should I do it, y'all? Should I do it? Yes. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Ready. <laughs> um. Sometimes things just don't work out, and that's. I guess okay. I'll just start by pulling my needles yeah. out. <laughs> I'm doing it. But while we're ripping, I can share what I'm thinking for my yes, knitting please, for my move. Please. So I, um, because I'm moving such a long distance, and I, I'm, I have hired movers to help me with that. I'm gonna be like two to maybe three weeks without my stuff. Mm. So I have been planning like what projects do I want to take with me so that I have enough knitting to do for two or three, maybe even four weeks until I get everything unpacked. Right? Yeah. Um, so what I decided is I'm going to take um, like three or four different colors of sock yarn that kind of all coordinate mm -hmm. so that I can make some rib socks and some plain socks and some color work socks and just mm -hmm. have all of that in one like sock ish size project bag so i'm going to take an, a red i should have brought it with me but a red an orange a blue and then like a neutral red, orange, sock yarn um so here we go <laughs> um and then because i've been like inspired by all these dk weight sweaters um i i have this is too hard while i'm talking but i um <laughs> have two DK white sweaters that I've been wanting to make for a while. Um, one of them is a sweater a colleague of mine, uh, whoops, You're a colleague good. of mine had a, like a forest green oh, yeah. raglan, we've talked about this before, yeah. raglan sweater, because you know her also, it was Allie, oh, had yeah. this forest green Aww. raglan garter stitch sweater that I, I think it was like a commercial sweater, but she used to wear it all the time. And every time she wore it, I was like, I am going to make that sweater and it also was it was a chunkier yarn which is like not as common for a store-bought sweater but it was definitely a chunky yeah yarn. so for years i've been looking for a pattern for a garter stitch raglan sweater that i thought like looked like exactly like this sweater yeah so i happened to see somebody post on instagram the other day um I happen to see somebody post on Instagram. We got low battery. I got to talk fast. Whoops. Um, I happen to see somebody post on Instagram the other day a picture of a sweater from Ready Set Raglan. Mm. Um, and it was basically exactly what I've been looking for. Let me see if I can find it quickly. I should have marked the page. Um, which is like a garter stitch Raglan sweater. Um, and because garter stitch stretches, I feel like it's a little bit hard to get the right fit on a mm. garter stitch sweater. Um, but let me see if I can show it without showing the pattern too much. So yeah, so it just looks like that. Oh yeah. Uh, so I'm going to make that and take that yarn. And then I also was wanting to make um, like that broken rib, like a mm. broken rib raglan yep. pullover. And there is a pattern for that in, there too. in here as well. Oh, that's awesome. So I just bought the book and I'm going to say that one. Two quantities of yarn oh, to that's make. Oh, cute. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to make both of those, and then I have socks, and then I think that should be enough to keep me going for a month. For a month. Yeah. So it's all about... Are you sure that's regular. enough for you? No, I'm kidding. I think so. I think so. <laughs> and I also, because I can do it all with my... Oh, perfect. ...interchangeable needles and then one set of sock yeah. needles, right? So... All right. We'll sounds like a plan. That's my plan. And if... If worse comes to worse, you could go to your Starlight Knitting Society is you, you, two miles away. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's it. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for all your comments, especially thank you to everyone who commented last time that you hope we continue the podcast after I move. So we're definitely still thinking about how to do that. Um, but we really appreciate the support and um, we'll see you again soon. All right. Bye, everyone.